my god. We're wait. Oh my god. No, my wait AC second. started. Oh my fucking god. We just hit a record. Oh, this is good content. This is oh, good content. Not. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo it Don't all. Get... Oh my god. <laughs> this is a little candid. You fucking ruined the we haven't even been going for a minute. I just I've How been you... going through a lot. I've been in the same room for the last eight months. I can I've been in for the whole quarantine and a little bit before shit. quarantine. <laughs> and it's just hard, okay? I like okay. to log on and make a good show. Mm-hmm. And then I, I got to put up with, with, with your words slapping me around. Yeah. All right. Are you done? I got a little more. Okay. Like, it's just hard to be, you know, yeah. and we're all going through stuff, but me especially <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm done. Okay, great. Hey, guys. Um, welcome back to the... Um, the riff. I don't care. With... I don't care. You do the show. You do the show. Okay. <laughs> Andrew, if you're gonna be a little bitch boy, then I will do the fucking show without you. Good. Hey guys. Um Leave me. I'm getting a snack. Oh, okay. Um it's your favorite. It's Grace. Um, I hope you guys have all been good and well during this really fun time of the global pandemic. Obviously, Andrew hasn't because he's a piece of shit and he's left already. We, we haven't even started the show for like three minutes. Um, what's up with me? I'm glad you asked. Um, I would say that interrupting again. I cooled off. Okay, well, I was I'm just- not a you know, hot head. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, tell me about your summer, Grace. Oh my God, Andrew, so glad you asked. I've been, um, just, well, I just moved in to my apartment in Westwood, which is exciting. Well, I've been here for a month, but, so that's great because I left my family house. Last time, you'll remember, Grace was living in the family, with the family and all like, um, how long is this gonna go on? Um, but now she's <laughs> yeah. living without him as like, ooh, how now long is free... this gonna go on? <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly how it happened. Just like <laughs> that. Um, don't get me wrong. Love the fam. They're much love. They're fan- Bless up. They're fantastic. Much love. Um, they're not dead, so I wouldn't. Bless side. Anyways. West side. side yeah. bless- um, no, bless side. Oh, bless what? Like instead of blessing them up to heaven, presumably you're blessing mm-hmm. side to them in the Bay Area. Bless side. Okay, right. Well, your family's in the Bay Area. Mine's not. No, we have the same family. Grace. Oh. Um, mm. you're really good. anyway, so now I'm here vibing, uh, miss the family kind of, um, no, I do keep, we keep in touch. Uh, I've been surfing a lot, skateboarding a lot, just being really cool and awesome a lot. I do that a lot. That's it. Uh, Andrew, what about you? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Moving on. Um, so we're really <laughs> excited today. <laughs> Because are you gonna stop whining? I think so. Why the the fuck are you eating right now? Because all you do, I know you don't go outside. Look at your complexion. You stay inside all day. I know it, but yet now is when you eat. Well, because I say I'm getting a snack. So then the people watching are gonna be like, oh now he's eating the snack, he actually got a snack. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sure. Commitment to the bit is always well received (laughs) by the audience um no yeah I'll just keep going um so today we have a really great show planned because we have a special guest who's um a recycled guest unfortunately um but you know nonetheless what'd you say oh you're gonna tell me where we're at you want to tell me okay yeah no go ahead you take charge now let's see well it's just because you know yeah uh when Michael comes in it's gonna be like hey Michael And right. then, you know, mm-hmm. it's just right now I got the floor, you know, and so I get to use, you know, and I say what I want and people mm-hmm. listen. You do have the floor. You know what? No. Oh, okay. Um, I was, uh, hey, guys. Oh, my summer? It's crazy. The question is, what didn't I do? Um, so, um, I was with my family. 
uh, family for some. That was cool. Shout out, uh, shout out the Batat household. <laughs> um, Grace, uh, you, what are you, um, did you do anything fun? Or... Um, okay, we, this, this has been fun, but we do have to bring in. Very do we have special. to? Well, I mean, that no was one's... a joke. Get him in here. Where Get him in here. Go? Get him in here. Oh my Frigger. God. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Michael, scream your name or just say it loud. Michael. <laughs> yes. I hated that. I love it. I hated it. that I so it. much. I like okay, yeah, it was for cool. sure. It was cool. That was really cool. Um, Michael, what's it like being my roommate? It's actually really nice. Andrew's very clean. Uh, He also walks around in very tight, very see-through white boxer briefs. So that's just a blast to wake up. I established early on that I'm secure with my body and everyone else must be as well. Mm. Are you, wait, is that a lie or are you being for real? No, he also goes swimming in them and comes back and they're all clingy. I don't care. It's the human body. It's beautiful. (laughs) See-through. I have a gorgeous body. I feel like you assaulted Michael's eyes and this is sort of like <laughs> trying to make it seem okay, but it's not okay. And that's okay not to be okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Andrew, what do you have to say for yourself? I would say that Michael, I extend to you the same, um, you know, acceptance for your body that I would hope you extend mm. to me. I wear loose red underwear mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with that. Mm-hmm. But no, Andrew's very clean. Um, we, he and I are on the same side of how you do dishes. Mm-hmm. And so that's very nice. Which is how? I'm curious. How do you guys? Well, the how we're on the same side. The execution, I think there are some divergences. You want mm-hmm. okay. to take, take it away, Michael. Well, I, I actually want to bring up another point. Is that the Andrew, Andrew uh, wears shoes in the, Our floors are very dirty. And Andrew mm-hmm. wears shoes in the house because he's a pessimist and a coward and he's like our the floor floors is gonna are get filthy they he's are like disgusting the... and they are the... not filthy and disgusting because of me the, the floors are gonna get dirty might as well wear my shoes to keep me clean precisely and if we just well, worked like, hard on i do not wear shoes clean. i wear slides these are what i wear indoors that michael appears to have a problem with I got no problem just, with that. I'm just like piecing together the fit of like Andrew and his tidy whities that are like kind of see through, <laughs> and they the are slides. So see through. And I'm just like so scared. <laughs> That's horror. Yo, shit. Yo, fuck it up. Yo, fuck it up. Yeah, the, the Casper Casper on your shirt is very appropriate. That's pretty fire. I'm wearing um a dance a dance marathon shirt that I never fucking wear. To remind you, me of that horrible time. You went there? You went to the dance marathon? Yeah, I did. Somehow I was convinced that doing 26 hours of a dance marathon was going to be, like, fun. I don't know was why. It, yeah. It was, like, helped kids or something? It helped with, like, AIDS? I don't know. I don't know, but I was not having a good time. And it was very Whatever it was, we me. support the cause. Yes! Come on, guys. Let me specify that, guys. I mean, I didn't do 26 hours for nothing. <laughs> for sure. Is it 26, not 24? No, it's 26 because for whatever reason, they're like, the world record's 24. We got to do 26. And I was like, fuck you. That's fucking bullshit. And I didn't know that until I fucking like got there. No, what I didn't know until I got there was that you can't sit. I thought the goal was just not to fall asleep, but you couldn't fucking sit down ever. But don't you have teams where you tag Or else? No, the teams are just to support each other to not sit. It was bullshit. Yeah. How do you physically do that? What about the kids? There was... (laughs) The kids, the kids didn't, the kids with AIDS, I don't think. Yeah, the sick kids. The sick AIDS kids. How did they? They, um, they didn't do the 26 hours with us. They were like morale boosters, which was nice, but like sad. I feel like if they want the money, they should have to work. Yeah, I'm like, get in here and you do the work too. If you guys stay, if you guys stay awake longer than them, then you get all the money. (laughs) Yeah. True. Slips everyone like sleeping pills. Gets Twisted. really vicious out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, All the uh, clubs my... you've oh. given up on. Yeah. For the people uh, listening to this, 
decades in the future. Um, mm. We are going through a special time in history. And that is super special. It's so special. Many months into the quarantine, when did it start? It started late March. Yeah. That is yeah. April, May, June, July, August, September. And then I'm going to add October just because it started in March. That's seven months. We are seven Holy months shit. into quarantine. Um, yeah. I love life. So cool. <laughs> just waking up and just putting a mask on. Yeah, oh, remember life outside. seven months ago? <laughs> oh, no. no. I do, actually. What a It feels like it was like a thousand years ago while it was also like yesterday. Time is very warped right now. Time doesn't is not real right now. No. My no. president said quarantine was lasting two weeks, and I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's another thing. We got the election coming up November. Hey, look 3rd. at that smooth transition. Okay. Hey. That was that was so good. Snap was it like 22 days as of recording this away? Mm. I got my ballot so wait, I, no less. Somewhere. I can't Things wait to put the I, up. Oh, oh. Yeah, I um I'm just looking forward to voting and then putting like the let's vote sticker on my forehead, making a post about it, acting like I knew what was happening. I'm pretty and bummed I, out that since I chose to mail in my ballot, I got this inferior sticker. Oh, and you put it, it on says, your guitar. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you shred? I'm assuming no, you wanted everyone I, to know that you do because it's behind it's like directly behind you. So. I plunk. I don't shred. I is it plunk or is it pluck? Dun, dun, dun. It's plunk. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree to disagree with you on that one. Um, I'm excited for. I no, I take it back. The election is <laughs> gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I'm very nervous. For I'm this. dreading it. Yeah, it's gonna. Um, uh, I'm just hoping I get like a trip to Europe out of this. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about like our fun club or something fun. Well, oh, I, do, I mean, I guess. Look at this fucking guy thinking he could run the show. I, you what, you know, want to talk about math next? Yeah, what do, you want to talk about? what do you want to talk about, Michael? How you Some, plunk? The, the, yeah. little, the little joy I have left in my life. Um, but I do okay. want to, I, I, I am Debbie interested Downer. to hear about your quarantine experience, just because th- this is such a fascinating time and we're all going through it so differently and similarly. Uh, so what's mm. your seven months been like, Michael? I was going to yeah. say probably similar to you guys, spent a long time with my parents uh, back at the family home. My sister was there too. So we were our, like our nuclear family again, having family dinners, saw some of my old high school friends. I um was my high school personality again hmm. then came down well, here that's a weird comment. and everything <laughs> and everything changed for three days and then it went back to sedentary boring normalcy again so just to back it up you kind <laughs> of threw in there a little nugget you threw in like a mm. little a little yeah. easter egg so you want to mm. elaborate on what you mean by you went back to your high school personality you know i've done i've done a lot of growing up grace since i've come oh. to college okay and That's a depressing comment yep <laughs> why <laughs> i don't know i guess i just retracted but continue <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and all that was washed away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been um, it's been Yikes. oddly equalizing. Everyone waking up. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go on my computer today. What do I want to do now? I don't know. It's just it's kind of chilling. Mm. Honestly, I've been I've been having a good time. I I Me too. I really enjoy being alone. Mm-hmm. and there's been a Clearly. ton of that <laughs> that's been an interesting thing to learn is who are the real introverts and extroverts mm. and i've it's learned a good it's a really good test <laughs> um, I, well, it's also kind Michael? of yeah i guess so if this is the test so this is also making me more of an introvert interesting because i can't tell with you this is a segue into our our story me and you michael uh yeah, michael and beautiful. i met 
uh, my freshman year and Michael's freshman, Our freshman year, yeah. um, uh, in spring quarter, we did a play together. And Michael was the weird, quiet kid who read a book when everyone was talking. I did. I did do that. And I was like, okay, this guy is weird. And then we had one exchange <laughs> and you were funny. You had a good bit going and you were riffing. And I was like, huh, is that, is he funny? And then you went back to reading your book and I was like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, but, you know, we, we talked a little bit. We became kind of buddies. Yeah. And then, yeah, you, you invited me to a sketch, a meeting, and I stayed in shenanigans. But it, it was so weird seeing you and thinking you were just a weird introvert guy and then seeing you as this social butterfly because <laughs> in many ways, you're like the most social butterfly uh in shenanigans me Care to comment on that yeah you <laughs> um yeah i guess i'm confused i don't know i feel like i kind of have like this drive this this something pushing me forward and that's to hook up with girls <laughs> and and that's really what gets me like out of my bed it's never, never gotten in. It doesn't get me into bed if you, it gets me out of bed. And um, when I was in Hooligan, when I was doing that show, I had a girlfriend. So I was like, now I, you know, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Like I mm-hmm. finished being social. Now I can read The Stand by Stephen King. And that, <laughs> and um, yeah. Then I realized how hollow that was after she broke up with me. <laughs> Solid. And... Michael does um, enjoy chasing ladies. Uh, yeah. I heard to say you you enjoy the chase aspect. <laughs> yeah, I do. I like getting to getting to know people closely on that. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 we're pressing further because at least for me, we're talking about comedy. <laughs> no, 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 we'll get to that. But when I was a single man, I did not enjoy the chase. Mm. Like the idea of being single, me like oh, I can get with mm. any girl I want. It's kind of fun. I couldn't obviously, but that thought's there. Um, but the idea of like being at a party and being like, oh, she's hot. I don't want to try to talk to her. <laughs> oh, the hot girl in my discussion. Oh, I'm gonna try to talk to her. I hated that. It sucked. I think no it's fun. pretty fun. I feel like it, it's totally fun cool. right after that. After what? It, I, I like I like like the budding stages of a you relationship. Like courting. Yeah, I like the courting. Yeah, that's a good word. That one's really fun, and you get to know someone, and then you get tired of each other, and you can wad them up and throw them aside and beat them up. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I want yeah. to add something. <laughs> yeah, you're in there. Now the three person combo. Grace, yeah, what's what's chasing girls like for you? What's your stance? Oh my god, the ladies love me. It's hard. Um, it's like I'm a lamp and they're all moths. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, quarantine's tough because it's like you can't meet anyone new. So there's just like fucking nothing going on. There's nothing going on. But um yeah. To tie it back to the um, the extrovert introvert portion of the conversation, I just want to make it clear what I am mm-hmm. because I feel like it should be known. I feel like I'm kind of perfect. Where <laughs> that's kind of it. Yeah. Would you um, say it's a best of both worlds type situation? Yeah, I'm just like the best, the best. Mm. I guess you could say. I feel like when I I'm like very inherently extroverted, but if I'm alone, I won't be like oh my god I need to like socialize or I'll explode I'll just like vibe with being alone like over quarantine I low-key got really like good at being alone and I would fucking talk to myself we had like <laughs> me and Grace would have like the best time she's so funny you, like she's literally I feel like the best. that's that's bad at being alone no it got a little scary at the end I'd be in the car and I'd be talking to myself and I'd be like yo it's kind of fucking weird and then I'd be like I yeah, talk to it kind of is, and then I'd it's be like, fun. "Uh-oh," but like vibes. Am I right? Mm. Vibes. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, it's it's maybe dangerous when you're really vibing with yourself. Yeah, I'm like, I'm fucking great. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I had we had some <laughs> tough conversations. Let me tell you. 
Mm-hmm. She can be a real pain in my fucking ass, but other than that, she's good. Um, the other day, I came up with a bit and acted it out, and then cracked up from it. Right. Well, that's good. I mean, you gotta find your own material funny. You do. Yeah. I laugh at like what I write in my <laughs> head. Totally. What I laugh at myself all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. I did you guys even myself. like? Did you have you guys even like said the name of the show yet, or like? I what did briefly is? while Andrew was doing his really, really annoying bit of getting a <laughs> fucking snack. Let's, I let's leave me alone. Michael, no let's song do, the bit. Uh, I thought it was a good bit. I, mm-hmm. but let's let's it, it needs something to come before it. So let's do this part mm-hmm. and then we'll cut it and move it to the beginning so Sorry. people can like follow along. Hey guys, this has been the uh, Shenanigans okay, Comedy Podcast. Director over here. Hey, it's the riff. It's up, Andrew it's and Grace. And Grace. I don't okay, even want that'll to do be it the anymore. start of the show. Both is that you. is that what you want? You want is that what that? you wanted? That is that good. what you wanted? Now I'm on. The, now we're all on the same page. Yeah, God, that's true. I made, I made the host sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, I'm the, I'm the worst guest ever. No, you're not. You, you really are one of our faves. I hope you know that. Oh my God, you guys! Yeah. You leave the studio, yeah. and we're like, wow, he was. What now, mm. um, Michael? Word on the street is. <laughs> might be a. You might be a. a, a, a um... Can we talk about comedy? <laughs> you, don't wanna, you don't wanna talk about my topic? <laughs> you don't wanna talk about the I'm... word on the street? What's the word on the street? This I don't know. You juicy. tell me, Michael. Let's talk about comedy. How about that? Okay. I, I just heard really great about There might be like you're seeing you know people person i don't know you tell me all right so i've been going to a lot of zoom open mics Mm -hmm. and it's a good Mm -hmm. way to keep you know keep doing comedy Mm -hmm. during this quarantine obviously there's some drawbacks and there there so you can't connect with the audience in the same way can't hard to do crowd work hard to feed off their energy you know uh i think yeah i've noticed that so are you seeing Anywhere. It's hard to work with like the stage because okay. you're kind of yeah, framed yeah. in one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, At least for me, I think place. my material is tailored really well to it. And so you're single, or what's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> you can fo- you can really focus on the on different things, the writing aspect, mm-hmm. and can follow that very closely. So yeah, it's Michael good. Michael and I so- went to a lot of Zoom open mics this summer. Um, and we, we were Zoom open mic buddies for a while. We met people. We were regulars mm. at several yeah. mics. Shout out Mojo Ministry. Shout out, shout out open mic. Shout, shout out, out Jason King's Jason open King. mic. That shout one's fun. Andrew, Mike. Andrew doesn't get invited to that one, but. No. Well, I don't, wouldn't want to. I don't think it's a good <laughs> mic. <laughs> well, you don't get invited to my mic. <laughs> uh, Andrew has a it. mic alone in his room. Yeah, he does. Hey. Oh. hey, hey. All right, Fine. here's... Yeah. yeah. That's a great face. All right, here's my, my hard-hitting question. Yeah. Grace, I hear that you, like, you keep saying, you know, oh, I want to do stand-up. Oh, I'll come to the club stand-up mm-hmm. meeting. Mm-hmm. And you've never been to any? So... I personally would say none. Yeah, what's up with that? What's I actually like... have been to one stand-up meeting in my life. Um, um, it was back when school was in person. Um, so the okay, okay, okay. So I feel like there. Might oh, that's be some... right. Yeah, you had to bring like a buddy to like hold your hand and give you confidence. <laughs> I no. Let me let me get what I have to say out. I would just like the record on the. The rec- I want it to be on that record that um, I may or may not have made some false promises. And I'm not proud of it, but here's the thing. In my defense, quarantine, it's a dark time. I think we all can agree. Yeah. It sucks. So right before quarantine hit, I was, I was like on my fucking grandfather's grave. I was like, I want to do stand-up. Seems really fun. I'm really down. I'm going to go to the fucking meetings. And I'm like, this is... This is gonna be good. I'm excited. And then, then you saw an exit hit. ramp and oh, no. an excuse. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that'll bode well in the podcast. Um, no. <laughs> so, anyways, quarantine hit, 
And then everyone was like, well, we can do it over Zoom. And then I was like, well, I'm kind of horridly depressed right now. So I don't know if I'm trying to vibe on no Zoom stand-up meeting. Um, so yeah. then I kept blowing it off. I had no materials. And the week would come by and I'm like, you know, you would do fucking nothing all week. I would do nothing all week. And then like, of course, on Fridays, my family would be like, well, what if we went outside? And then I was like, I guess. And then the meeting would come and pass. And then that just kept happening. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to wait until meetings are in person again. Because I feel like that's, I've honestly been having a tough time coming to like sketch meeting too, just because I've, I've like, I have nothing. I have no inspiration. I've like, I. Just come without I've, material. Then the inspiration will come. Andrew and I have a phrase we like to say mm-hmm. is that motivation follows mm. action. Mm. A lot of people think it's the opposite, but it's really not. If you push yourself to do something that you know you want to do, you'll be more motivated. Throw yourself also, into you, it. Inspiration follows action. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. If you're if you're in it, if you're stewing, mm-hmm. going to open mics and thinking about your comedy. You'll come up with jokes. That's how it works. Yes. You will want Roll to do it. That's really touching you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that means a lot. I um, feel like that might be dry sarcasm or we really got through to her. No, you I did. Th- um, I think we did. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I think she's using the bit as a she's, defense mechanism. But she's that really pretending. Hurt. Yeah, exactly. She's, mm-hmm. she's so touch. Yeah. No, I'm crying. This isn't a lot. I'm crying. Crying. right now she's um, going okay so all i have to do is like show up and the good work will come yeah. i want it yeah. for that's like no i'll come is it on six five fridays five fridays fridays at five fridays at 5 p.m advertisement for a stand-up meeting it's a really great club a really great place to hang out and tell jokes and meet funny people who are also telling jokes there are tons of performance opportunities which is also really cool and great and cool that's right. Yeah. I, you know, it's mm-hmm. been so long. I kind of forget how to do a show like this. We never gave Michael's resume. Michael is the, <laughs> yeah, who are you? the stand-up department. Um, and, you know, it's also interesting, this being our episode one. I, I imagine many new people in shenanigans are listening, going, who is, uh, what's the, what is this? Yeah. Is this, is this fun? Uh, so uh, talk to a new person. We'll give them the club pitch and what they should do. You know what? People come to shenanigans for a lot of different reasons. People can come for a social club to meet people who share an interest, or people can come because they're following their dream of being in comedy. People can come just because they are saw our interesting banana logo and um, thought we were like a banana eating club or something. But it's it it it's it's cool. Yeah. Anyway, it's just a lot of people with who powerfully share one interest and some people who are a little less interested in it but it's fun great community to pursue that for me that's stand-up comedy just kind of happened to be because i always watch netflix specials and went to the club fair and saw it so yeah if you have any interest in it i mean a lot of the passionate people who are working at it and having a blast well said yeah shenanigans will always hold uh, special it's it, it was the best part of my college experience um, oh yeah I, it was college. kind of the only part of my college experience <laughs> um i always have um a lot going on a lot going for me so i can't say it was uh, <laughs> the only part of my college experience no shanigan's fucking rocks it rocks your socks off it's great uh mm-hmm. it was i was like the second i got to campus i was like i'm gonna join a stand-up or comedy whatever fucking club and then i went to the fair and then who did I talk to there? Did I talk to you, Michael? No, somebody looked like you. It was a white guy. And um, <laughs> I talked to him and he told me to come to the meeting. I went to the Welcome Week show with my bud. Um, yeah, and then I joined Stan Sketch. I did not join Stand Up, joined Sketch. Super fun. Totally so 10 of 10 fun. would recommend. I know, would I'm like- In person, giving shows to new people just entering CLA. Yeah. Maybe winter quarter guys no they got rapid testing now <laughs> maybe Anything. fingers crossed we'll have parties yeah. everything will be back to normal and grace yeah. 
can we get you to say, yes, I will come to stand up this Friday? Just to come. Yes. You don't have to do anything. We I'm coming. Yes. 100%. Really? 100%. Yeah, I'll come. Great. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a lot of new people there. A lot of new people. Okay. As long as I get the attention. It's fine. Yeah, I was going to say. That yeah. There could be new people. That's like fine. Um, we're just going to mute be- them until you're satisfied with how, <laughs> how much attention you've gotten. And if you yeah, and don't, don't show yeah. up, we'll just cancel the meeting. Mm. That's <laughs> I promise. I promise. 5 p.m. I've been be made there. a fool I'll before. Be and you I will, I've been made a fool before, and I'll mm. believe it when I see it. Guys, this is a this is a new new year, new me, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to stand Come out up. Of the, that's so good. Oh you. my god! Do you guys want to hear? This is actually so relevant. Do you want to hear a story time that happened to me yesterday? Yeah. Okay, so yesterday my neighbors, who are also friends of mine, lived right downstairs, and our back staircase leads to their back door. Um, just to preface. Anyways, she texted me in the morning and she's like, there's a man staring into my window. And I was like, "Uh Oh, that's not supposed to be happening. So then I like run to my kitchen and I look through my kitchen window and I do, there's a man sitting on our staircase. Totally looks like he is 100% not supposed to be here looking through her window. Um, and I was like, all right, well, I'm, and she goes, can you, um, can you open the door and shoo him away? And I was like, this isn't a fly. I don't know who the <laughs> fuck this guy is. I'm calling UCPD. The fuck? So I call UCPD and they had me like identify him, like age, race, what he was wearing, whatever, which was so exciting. Never done that before. Felt like I was <laughs> like criminal minds. I'm like, this is wild. I said, say something stupid. She was like, what age does he seem? And I was like, maybe like an adult, like a, above a young adult. And she's like, I need a number. And I was like, <laughs> okay sassy pants um 30 to 40 I don't know anyways so she goes okay we're sending someone over and I was like okay great I didn't think it would be a big deal I just thought they'd have a cop come be like hey you can't be here you gotta go and that was it so then like no less than five minutes later I'm living on land fair not one not two but three squad SUV cars pull up filled with guys and then a motorcyclist also pulls up Everyone jumps out, like, ready to fight. They surround my building. And I was like, this isn't, this this isn't what they should be. So I go downstairs and I'm like, talk to them. I talk to one of the guys and the other guys go and they like search around the building and they find him. And while they're like doing their thing with him, I strike up this con, this cop strikes up a conversation with me and we just become like, the best of buddies he like asked me all about my aspirations and my career he was like that's great that you love comedy who do you like you know that one show like he, on and on and on you're like oh um, talking to a boy again i know he was like <laughs> in his 50s for sure big still big round guy um yeah still some practice um yeah. <laughs> he literally um his like his other buddy cop comes over and was like oh what's your major and he was cracking jokes like oh we just went over that you just missed it and he's like oh well I was doing cop things and I was like what the fuck is happening <laughs> like funny. there's so many squad cards on land fair and everyone's out in their balconies like looking at what's happening and you could just wow they could probably just hear me talking to this cop like yeah I really like Tina Fey and Amy <laughs> Fuller <laughs> and then finally they like he asked me if I wanted the guy arrested and I was like what no I don't want him arrested what and then they ended up just taking him away to somewhere i don't know where he was going he wasn't getting arrested who was he did you hear them Please. talk to him what he was um they were in explanation the back. was talking he was just being a weird creep dude yeah. he was a homeless guy i think um uh, uh just kind of like wandering around the property going inside our laundry room looking through windows just should not have been where he was um and then when i was leaving the cops they were like hey you should call your stand-up show stand up with grace and I was like, hey, that's got a great ring to it. I'll be sure to <laughs> mull that over. Thanks, guys. That's <laughs> so right. I, I think that's good. I think that's good. He goes, it has double meaning. I don't, I guess stand up. Maybe like if I have like no, a No, Grace has double meaning. Your name. And also the word. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that, that's weird. They, they, they have too much money and yeah. Two little 
I literally was like, is a helicopter like about to fucking come and like land on the top of my apartment? There's just some creepo, like I don't know. But that's my story. And now my stand up show, if I ever have one, I'm hundred percent gonna call it stand up with Grace because that's, that's <laughs> tell so that funny. story. Police yeah. told me to Yeah. And they said I'd be arrested if I didn't. Uh oh. <laughs> I like to shout out. Silent. I like to shout out Officer, Officer Daphne. You sitting in the front row. <laughs> you were my day one. <laughs> <laughs> there from the beginning, and then the homeless guy. He's in the crowd too. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I was there too. I made that connection happen. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're dating now. Yep, <laughs> the officers. And it was a man, yeah. so they're that's a beautiful progressive relationship. The officer and the homeless man. Yeah. Homeless man has his like legs and Officer Daphne's lap. Yep. He's not homeless anymore because they live together. Oh yeah. Oh. He's Aww. no longer friendless too. I think I, I personally I get where the homeless guys come from. If I was homeless, I'd want to explore. Obviously, <laughs> there are violations of people's privacy, but you know, we want like, oh, what's that building like? You know. Yeah. I get it. For all the homeless out there listening, you and me are I will, one and the same. I will say, though, he was kind of taking his lighter and lighting our wood stairs. So that ah. was, yeah. So that I was like, no like, longer one and the same. I'd be doing that, too. <laughs> yeah, you like arson. Yeah. yeah. I get that. It's I exhilarating. Like fire. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like fire arson yeah no moving on um looping back illegal things that i like i think rat poison's cool to leave in people's food <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why that came to mind that was a fun sentence that's so weird that's just a fun sentence to say <laughs> um but yeah we, we talked about it earlier but i want to dive into it uh michael oh grace is not gonna like this topic uh, Michael, we did a lot of Zoom open mics this summer. We got on a good schedule. Um, Hell yeah. We, there was a point where we were doing two open mics plus two stand-up meetings a week. Two to three open mics. Oh, that's yeah. right. There was that one you that you weren't invited to. I was invited. Honestly, like, that's sick. That's like really cool that you guys did that. And like use yeah. your time for like... <laughs> improvement i um i sat in dark rooms a lot that was cool <laughs> really we, we got a good schedule going to open mics recording and then afterwards watching the video break breaking them down. down and we got Proving. a lot better i think so yeah like it's not the same experience as doing stand-up in person but as far as the rate we got better i don't know how we could have gotten yeah gotten that rate of doing it in person um just so much writing Constantly just like do like material i don't know i wouldn't have the energy to drive all around uh, exactly do exactly. my sets for different people like what mm -hmm. you need to do to do your sets for different people yeah so yeah pro pro zoom open mic give it a shot people zoom um, zoom <laughs> what grace really good <laughs> No, I'm really proud of you. That was awesome. You know what letters are? <laughs> <laughs> well, because no, it zooms. Zoom. Do you know which letters are which? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit my pants. What's, what's the one that looks like this? What's this one? You got it. It's in my name. I was, I really was like, whoa, this is gonna, this is gonna land so well because it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, I was like, how has no one ever been like Zoom? <laughs> Guys, Zoom. Grace, are, you're an English major, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God, that's what I'm trying to get in film. It's more talking, less <laughs> writing. <laughs> less spelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, I am crying now. That was fucking hilarious. I'm so less funny because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> you were guys. so excited. You were so excited. The first <laughs> so word excited. of the sentence was, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I gotta, oh, 
Oh god. It's a commercial. Woo. Andrew, what else are we? I mean, we're kind of like you know, really good friends now. We are. Yeah. That's so embarrassing. I mean, good for you guys. <laughs> embarrassing for which one of us? <laughs> I don't know, both parties. But what yeah. else are we doing together? Um, playing video games, being buds. What's the look? I don't know. Juice improv. Y'all fucking juice factory. Are y'all fucking? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah I Not each other, okay. but together sometimes. Oh, okay. For sure. You mean for simultaneously? Sure. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. We are two thirds of an improv team. Um, juice factory improv. <sighs> yeah. This is a source of. Oh, yeah. It's still going on. Yeah, this And we did Juice Factory all summer. Um, we sure did. Yeah, and it, it was really good to just keep that improv muscle going. It, um, yeah, I think that helped with my stand-up a lot, too. Yes, yeah. I, really, a call to all people who do comedy. Do not try other forms. improv. I mean, try other uh-huh. forms, yes, certainly. But improv and stand-up are applicable in every other aspect of comedy writing. A lot of people make fun of improv. They're like, oh, those people are happy. Or, oh, the audience cool always actually likes them. Yeah. Um, so I, tried, I tried improv my freshman year. I fucking was like guns blazing. Like, I'm going to be good at this because I was yeah. just overly confident. I did without no prior experience. If I do say so myself, made it to final rounds. Whoa. Uh, did not make it on the team though. Yeah, <laughs> right. did not. I think I did a cocaine clown as nice. my last character, <laughs> and then they're like, "This bitch fucking crazy. She's got to go. She's got to go." And Have then I was in stand up. No, you were. Oh, I know Grace what I was. Is... I was in sketch. sketch. <laughs> Grace was like, "I was just too funny for the improv." <laughs> Obviously, like, I'm like, obviously you guys can't like, cause I think a really important aspect of like an improv uh, group is that everyone has the same level of skill. And obviously right. if it's off then the team's off. So I got it. Like I got- They the, couldn't have you hog in the spotlight and be in the fan favorite. Who, who would- Yeah. Yeah. It's not a one woman show. Uh, maybe eventually it will be, but right now I'm trying Stand to play a team Chris. player. Yeah. Stand up with Grace over Zoom. But yeah, we had fun doing it over Zoom. We're going to have even more fun now that we can touch each other. Yeah. We hug sometimes. We do. Nice get in there. That's kind of hot. I mean, what? Um... I, feel, I feel sexualized. <laughs> you, what's the female version of a pig? Pig. <laughs> um, Fem- sow. You sow. What the fuck what is, is a cow? sow? It's a female pig. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Hey, we can fact I'm not check believing that one until I see that one. Sow. Yeah. Pig. S A W. A sow is a mother pig. Close. I was close. Oh, so uh, okay, okay. Really? All right. S A W spelled saw. I know that. <laughs> mm. I know that one. <laughs> yeah. Um,. A female pig is called a gilt. A gilt. If she hasn't had piglets yet, and a sow if she has. You Grace, have, you had, have you had piglets yet? Hey guys, mommy's busy. <laughs> <laughs> Oinking off screen. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have no kids. <laughs> right, yeah, so a gilt. Yeah, yeah. I, I go through that emotion a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes don't stop. <laughs> She's, She's a little Uzi gun. She's on. I just have it. I don't know. The X Factor is what yes. you have. The mm. X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what we call in the biz a callback. Are you taking um, notes, viewer? You guys should. This is this is gold. This is either you guys using drugs to cope with the quarantine. Um, completely Comedians off the record. Drugs. What? What about you? You go. Hey, 
You're the guest. Um, I have no, I have no taste for it anymore. It's not fun for me. Interesting. I felt that way about alcohol. I got no joy out of drinking. I basically stopped it completely. Uh, yeah. I can count the number of times on one hand that I've drank in and gotten actually drunk in the last like seven months. Um, but I like marijuana and it's legal now for my age. So it feels cool saying that. I'll um, say it. I'll yeah. say it. This is California, Andrew. Spread your this wings. I don't know. California, I know it's controversial. And I'll <laughs> say it. But yeah, it is controversial. I but agree with also, the alcohol thing. Um, I well, my reasoning is more. I'm just like a pussy when it comes to stomach aches. My tummy hurts a lot. It's mm. sensitive. I have a sensitive tummy. Um, and alcohol is like just the worst. Like I'll. I just like the stomach aches are just not worth it for like 30 minutes of being like, oh, I'm kind of like incapacitated. It's like, what is, <laughs> what is that? And then I wake up with like the runs the next morning and then I can't eat right for a week. <laughs> Sorry to be TMI, but it's like, what, what was the reason? I don't know. So yeah, I don't, I don't really fuck with, I mean, like if people are drinking, I'm not going to be like, whoa, that's um not like organic enough for my stomach. I'll, I'll suck it up. I'm a team player um huh but it's not like sounds like you just get peer pressure no what go against your best interests grace are you hanging out with the wrong crowd Mm. no what are you (laughs) guys i don't want to do that tonight (laughs) we're peer pressuring you right now (laughs) guys please no stop (laughs) be firm be firm pouring alcohol on me No, I'm not that dramatic. Like it's fine, but it's not preferred. But um, the what Andrew was talking about, pretty fun. So, um. mm. Whoa, what good word choice? Because now we can't. Um, you don't know like, what I'm talking about. We can't quote you, and then you got to watch the episode, and then you see it more, and you learn to like our characters, and you're like, these are good people. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go after them with my blog. I'll just do the brackets, the bracket thing, you know. Mm-hmm. No. In quotes sure. where you can replace words with words in bracket. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Mm. That would work. You know what? That's funny that you brought that up because I had an English assignment the other day and this quote was like, you had to have read a, qu- a few quotes before it to know what they were talking about, but I only needed that one quote, but I didn't know how to do the bracket thing. So then I just kind of skipped over the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so I guess my point of the story is I don't, that was impressive is what I'm saying. Is that you dot, know how dot, to do dot. That and brackets are fun to ellipses. use i know the word ellipses now so everyone's Whoa. like oh, andrew knew it and michael didn't they're not ellipses they're circles they're dots uh-huh what um, they're not ovals they're dots i didn't say they're opals wait look, look at ellipses i'm, I'm just, just kidding sky andrew. Oh, nice fucking <laughs> Nice try. nice try that's when the sun goes over the moon and then the earth like, <laughs> blows up i don't know <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you haven't seen the discovery channel you know what Killer it is. i do i do i was acting but now i'm like i know what you're talking about i think i'm coming yeah. back this season with more my, f- more my favorite show on the discovery channel yeah. is ovals i like hexagons Cut, uh, bitch dead. Cool. It died before it started. They can cover <laughs> surfaces. There's no, There's no. Hey, Andrew, you were saying sorry before that was. Oh, oh, there is one thing. Um, Michael, um, this is a bit we call gotcha journalism. Uh, I have unnamed <laughs> sources who say you assaulted their family. What do you have to say to their victims? What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, this has been a set of the whole fucking time. Michael, what do you have to say for yourself? That is not <laughs> what I thought the bit was going to be when we talked about it. I guess, that's, I guess that's what makes it gotcha journalism. You've been got. Now, what do you have to say to your victims? Uh, all right, there's no, that was a good question because there's no way I can answer it without looking yeah, I back. I will, say, gotcha journalism. I will say that that, you know, 
that I deny all allegations. So you're saying my sources are lying or what? I'm saying I deny all allegations. Okay. So that's a wide breadth of allegations. Ooh. You realize that. I got sources all of saying them. you spit in their face. One that says you kicked them in the nuts. Uh, I deny both of them. Vagina. Deny that. Well, you can't do that. You can't do that. Last time no. I checked, I don't know. I you deny all okay. those. Oh, okay. I deny the but third one especially. Do you have yeah. anything you'd like to say to your victims? <laughs> Not at this time. <laughs> Not at this time. This is You're great. Like, I'm enjoying what, this. What one. is this? This is gotcha I would, I journalism. Know. I thought you were gonna do like a bit of like real world drama. I thought that of that would be and funny. I couldn't think of a good one, so I went the other <laughs> angle. Um well I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> my speaking of gotcha journalism, my roommate looked up the sex offenders um like map. There's not many in Westwood, surprisingly. It's really great. There's a map, like the map of the wildfires, but for sex offenders? Yeah, and you can even see their photos too. You can you see their online. Can you see their crimes or is it just Yes, yes, it's color coded. So if they're if they're like so basically it's like a map with a bunch of like pins on it and if their pin is red, it was child. And if their pin is like yellow, then maybe it was like adult. I don't fucking know. Whatever the uh, not child ones are. When I think sex offender, I think child. So I don't know what the other mm. ones would be. Not child. So Is this it? <gasps> are we looking at the map? I okay, um, I have read the disclaimer. Yeah, this looks. I think this is it. I think okay. this is it. And I, I, I mean, this must be public. This is so. Um. This is, oh yeah, put in put in nine zero zero two four. This is kind of this is this is weirdly fun. This is a fun well, little activity, you guys. Where do I put like, it in? Map search, or oh, can I just do that? Yeah, map search. Yes, that's it. Whoa! Look at it. look at what are the blue? What did the blue mean? The red is um, child. The red children. is children, I believe. What is blue? There's someone right next to us. Who is that? It's like it's my house. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, is it morally okay to click on these? It's public. It's public access. It's yes, public. it's public. But is it? I just want to yeah, know what no one's blue and gray this. means. Well, there he is. Wow. I feel uncomfortable. I feel it's uncomfortable his weight. too. Why does it show everything about him? What's, what does it say? What was his offense? I don't know. Possess, Possess or, or control people. obscene matter depicting minor in sexual uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. This is What's so the legit. This is oh, this no. sucks. Why did we do this? <laughs> Those guys are what, our neighbors. What, what are you forcing me to do? It was disgusting. <laughs> hey guys, look at my new ring. It has, let's change this up. It's got frogs on it. Oh, cute. Whoa, that's cool. I really like that's that. Hey, frogs. guys. Yeah, yeah, I got it at the Melrose Trading Post because I'm kind of indie. Oh, that's another thing. Um, not the fact that I'm indie, that was already done. But um, I've really gotten into, I mean, I've always liked music, but now I'm like really into music now that Ooh. like there's nothing else to do except listen to <laughs> things. <laughs> Wait, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, curating lots of playlists, figuring out the sounds that I vibe with. What about you guys? Yeah, Discovery. Yeah. Any new hobbies or music or? Yeah, music, like music wise. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Listen to a ton of music, can and still doing it. I'm trying to play the bass lines to songs I like, learning them. I like Charlie XCX. She's one She's... of my faves. Let's ride. Do you know that one? That's a song so. I'm quoting. It's one of her most popular songs. Caught red handed. Um, yeah, who am I really vibing with now that I'm so glad you guys asked? Um, I really am enjoying. Let's ride. I is guess not I'm, one of her most popular. <laughs> no, it's like a lyric. Anyways. Oh, um, okay. This um. I guess like, well, I love a lot of genres on like the chiller genre spectrum. There's like the classics like Mac Marco and like Tame Impala and Still Woozy and those guys. Um, I'm really enjoying. I knew one of those. Which one? Oh, Mac Marco. Mm. 
let me see. Uh, who's another? Um, 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 um. Yeek is really good. There's obviously like, oh, I fuck heavy with goth babes. Do you guys listen to them? I haven't heard of either of the last two, but those are interesting. Yeah, they're really fire. That's in like my like smooth, chill. There's Psychedelic one, rock. Yeah, yeah. There's this one um, DJ. They're like French DJs, Polo and Pawn. They have some really good shit. They have Ooh. a remix of Claire de Lune and it's like fire. Um, <laughs> uh, How are you finding you, these what, artists? Um, just like on like Spotify or just like hearing it over yeah, like yeah. social media or something. But yeah, I'll like make a playlist and have it make a really weird name and then kind of see what the Spotify thinks should be on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of That's fun. pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I like Michael, listening... what is comedy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Comedy is... is enter- the concept of humor turned into entertainment. Interesting. What is humor? It's funny. Things that make you laugh what are things that make you laugh or no better why do things <laughs> boobs make you laugh? <laughs> and like boobs. Penises, so. that was a good yeah. one <laughs> toilets <laughs> uh-huh. but why why do boobs and toilets make you laugh because it's, it's funny it's funny because of this because of the, the z on the end boobs is funnier toilets. than boobs the z um <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There are few, I, I, uh, interesting why people laugh. A lot of people laugh to like release tension. To mm-hmm. it's like a break from anxiety, um, absurdity or out of place things. It's, it's it's all it's all curious. It's all fascinating. It's all undefinable by me who hasn't read enough. Well, that was a good answer. Yeah, that was, that was a good answer. Yeah. Hey. Wait, really? Just uh, it, it hit a lot hey. of points. Yeah, clap. Mm. Let's get that reaction yeah. in there. Um, Wait, ready? There's this one too. Whoa, new reactions. Zoom update. <laughs> Zoom update. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Um, I don't another know one. What comedy is. Uh, I think it's make that face. What's his name? <laughs> From the office, not Michael, but who's the character Michael's based off of? The British one. Uh, Ricky Gervais. Ricky David Gervais's Brent. character, David Brent. David yeah, Brent. he defines it as uh, the brain's way of tickling itself. <laughs> oh, Pleasuring okay. itself or tickling itself? Tickling. Tickling. But tickling could be a thing of torture. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's, no, that's great. I like that a lot. That's cute. <laughs> but I, I don't know. There's something about sometimes your brain just gets to make a connection and it makes you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And something fun. Um, and you share it with goofy. their with your friends, and they're like, mm, and then you're like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that happens a lot to me. But that's why you just look in the mirror and you go, Grace, you're so funny. <laughs> and then I'm like, bah, I know. <laughs> bah. 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 Oh. Yeah. But I think our show's coming off. to an end. Um, and we've Already? had a fun one. Already. Yeah. This is so dynamic. So much has gone on. <laughs> it's been it's been quite the ride, quite the adventure. This has. We learned I feel a lot. Like I've, we a lot. I've aged a lifetime. I feel like I've ascended. Um, that, that's it. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I've. So, <laughs> yeah, this has been The Riff, the Shenanigans Comedy Podcast with. And wait, no. This has been The Riff, the Shenanigans Comedy Podcast with. Andrew. And. Grace. And, and Grace, sometimes Michael. Michael. It's and been a pleasure Michael. having you on. Yeah, uh, we dish it. To be we dish here. it. Like we, he is. You're we okay. dish it. We take it. Take it. We mm. fish it. We rake it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, those, those, you, are the those are the ones. Activities we do. To if it. you watch the whole video, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you next week, maybe. Hopefully, we'll be here. If you want to uh, come yeah. back, I don't know. If you guys want more of me and Andrew and less of Grace, listen to Juice Factory Improv on UCLA Radio or look us up on YouTube, UCLA Radio, Mondays at 9. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, bye. Grace won't. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> <laughs>